Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm really really excited about this video. I have this idea and I hope it turns out how I want it to. Um, I have not seen anybody do this or at least like title it the way I'm going to. I don't know. So if somebody has done this before and you have seen this, please make sure to comment below and let me know who has done it so that way I can give them credit for whoever started this. Um, but so I'm going to be doing full face today but one half is going to be my everyday what I would run out the house with and the other half is going to be an Instagram or YouTube level makeup look. So I'm really excited about this actually and um, I've never done something like this before. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first things first is I always prime my skin no matter what I do. So the non or the normal, there's a fly in here and I'm getting pissed at it. So the normal side is going to be my left side. So on this side, I'm just using the MAC Time Check Lotion. And I'm just blending that all in with my fingers. I like this because it's really, really hydrating for my skin and my skin is a bit drier. Okay, and then on this side, I will use the Cover FX Blurring Primer. Okay, that is a lot of it, but that is a okay. And I mix in the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Lotion. So this is kind of my like signature primer for YouTube videos or if I'm getting ready to take um, pictures for an Instagram post, anything like that. So this is my signature concoction for that. So my nose is definitely going to overlap a bit, but I'll do the best that I can to keep them as separate as possible. Okay, and then next up I would do brows. So for my everyday side, pop in some brow gel. This is, oh no, this is my, yeah, this, yeah, this is my everyday side. I'm already getting confused. So I just pop in some brow gel for my everyday side. There you go, done. Um, for my, and that was just the MAC Pro Longwear um, brow set in Bold Brunette. And then on the Instagram and YouTube side, I will do the Lingering Brow Pencil from MAC. So I genuinely do not fill in my brows that much. Um, my brows naturally are really full. So I don't typically need to fill them in too much. but. That is what I would do. Okay, so next up, I will take the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and I will actually use this on both sides. I do this no matter what I'm doing, or if I'm putting on eyeshadow, I should say. So I will use this no matter what. I do not wear shadow every day, so I am doing a look that does involve shadow just so that way we keep them, I mean, I'm going to try to do them kind of similar, but not, I mean, you will very much so see a difference still. So I'm just applying that with my 242 brush from MAC. This is my favorite brush to apply this with. It gives me a nice even base all over and I just really like it. Okay, I'm going to zoom you in a bit for the eyes. There we go. So I'm going to just take a white shadow and set the brow bone. Again, I will do this no matter what. And I really like how the white mixes with the painterly. So it creates almost just like the perfect like flesh toned color. Hello fallout. Okay, 
And then to apply that white shadow, I use a MAC 275 brush. I like it because it has this nice angle to it, and I really like how it packs it on there. So there is that. I'm going to take the ColourPop Element of Surprise palette, which looks a little like this, and then I'm going to use this shade here, which is Labyrinth. So I'm going to take that one there, and I'm going to grab that on a Wayne Goss 04 brush. This is my favorite blending brush for the crease. But since I popped that paint jelly on there, made it a bit lighter so that way this works as a very good transition shade. So you can see nothing too special there. Just get that popped on there and then I'll grab a MAC 217 brush and I will just take the IBY Beauty Desert Vibes palette and I will grab, um, let's do a little bit of Take a Hike here. So it is just a bit deeper than the crease. So pop that on there and then just blend. I like to stick with more warm tone colors just since my eyes, my eyes are kind of a strange color if you've never noticed. <laughs> they are like a brown but they also turn green really easily. So I like to use warm tones because that brings out the green more. So I will just get that all nice and blended here. And then I will go back to the ColourPop palette and use this shade here, which is Silk Street. And I will just use my finger. And rub that on there. And then just go back in with my 217 and blend. So make sure there are no harsh edges anywhere. And there you go. That is my more everyday look. It's really that simple. I will pop on some mascara real quick and then we will be back and do this. Okay, so I just used the MAC False Lash Maximizer and I apply that first and then I go in with the Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara and just apply a generous coat of mascara. So there's that I complete. We'll move on to this eye now. So ironically, I'm going to start it the same way with this ColourPop shadow here. And again on my Wayne Goss 04 brush and I will just buff that into the crease here. And I'm gonna go a bit heavier handed with this one just because I know what look I'm going for, so I want it just a bit darker on this side. So next up, I will go in with the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette here, and I'm going to go in with the shade Coma, which is this one right here. It's the deep purple shade. And this is on a MAC 217 and I just press that on to the outer corner here. And I will start to bring it slightly up into the crease. And you can see I've deposited most of the color by the time I'm starting to attempt to bring it up into my crease. And run back and forth very gently right there just to help me blend it somewhat. Then I will take a clean 217 and I will go in with a mixture of the shade Peace of Mind and this one here will just go with the flow and this will just help me blend out that color. 
and very very lightly I will start blending and I will go ahead and bring this in pretty far here and then just with the lightest hand I will start bringing things upwards and blending out. I will grab a MAC 286 brush and go back in with our very first transition shade and start going over that line here. And this will just help me blend this out even further. So I use a mixture of circular motions and back and forth just to help me blend out that product as best as I can. You can see we're getting a really nice blend with that. And another trick I like to do is I will take that original 275 brush that had our white on it and just run back over that brow bone and kind of wiggle back and forth if I need to. And you can see that that softened that line for us as well. Okay, so next up I will go in with my Life's a Drag palette and I will grab the color Shady, which is the black. And I will grab a MAC 221 brush, which is kind of like a baby 217. And I will get a bit of that on there, not too much. Make sure to top off the excess. And I will start building that up here. I want this to be pretty dark out here. So once I get that mainly on there, then I'll go back in with the brush that had coma on it and blend over it some. And I mainly use back and forth motions for this one. Then I will go back in with R286 and blend out the edges that we created. So this is kind of just an endless cycle of back and forth to create the best blend that you possibly can. And I'll go back into my 275 again and just blend that upper line just to make sure that there is no line there. Okay, and then I'll grab the P. Louise base. This is in shade 1. And I'll take that on the same MAC 242 brush. And we will cut the crease. Then I will take the coma shade and pat it on to the lash line here. And then shady as well. Okay, and then I'll take the shade Care Bear here, which this is just a like true rose gold shade. And I'll grab a MAC 228 brush, which is just this really tiny packing brush here. And then I will just start packing that color on. So then I'll kind of create that little edge there and then go back in with our blending brush and help all of that blend together seamlessly. 
some liner with this one as well. And this is just the MAC Brush Black. So I like to hold a mirror below me, like on my chin essentially, and I look straight down. So I rest the lashes on top of my actual lash. And then I place them in the center first, then I will do the outer corner and then the inner corner. Okay, so for my everyday side, I like to use the L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation. And I just take one pump of this. And this is my Morphe Y6. And I just buff that in. So that just evens out my skin tone and kind of creates a base for concealer, powder, stuff like that. Um, I don't I don't like full coverage really, to be quite honest. Um, I like just how this looks essentially. So that's all I do for my skin on that. Then for my Instagram side, I will take the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. This one is in the shade Latte, which is 300 in. And then I will take one pump of this. I typically use one pump for my entire face if I am using this. So this is probably way too much, but kind of goes with the theme. And then again, just my Morphe Y6 brush. So you can already immediately see the difference. So I really just try to buff this into my skin here. Okay, so I'll do my concealer on this side. I use the Makeup Revolution Concealer. I will use the shade C4. I will literally just do three dots right there. Do a touch on my chin, down my nose, and my forehead. Again, these center portions are going to get a bit tricky, but we'll make it work. And then I also take the shade C7 right with it, just because C7 is essentially my skin tone. So it just helps it blend out a bit easier that way. And then I will typically just use my Morphe Y6 to blend this out. But since I put that foundation on it, I do not want to blend them together because that will completely alter the look of this side. So I'm just using my MAC 170 brush. Okay, so there is that side. Then I'll take the Maybelline Fit Me Loose powder and I just take a Real Techniques setting brush. And I just grab a little bit of this, not a lot by any means, and Just to place a bit under there. I don't necessarily bake with it per se. I guess you could call it that right now, but it's not my intention of what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make it so my under eyes don't crease. So, and then for the others, my Instagram side, I will take a Shape Tape Concealer. This one is in Fair Beige. So you can see substantially too light. <laughs> And then I will use that same technique though and I will grab the light medium in Shape Tape because it is a bit closer to my actual skin tone and I will just place that all with it. Again, this just helps it blend out a bit easier and makes it so it's not as harsh of a line.
I'll take that same 227 brush and that same powder and I will really press it on there. And then I will let that hang out for a while. So I'm going to go back to the other side and we will keep working on that side and by the time I'm done with this side then I'll wait long enough on the other. So I will take that same Roll Techniques brush that we put the powder on with and just dust it away. Just kind of buff it into the skin. So you can see it did highlight a bit on this side but not too much. And I will go ahead and set my whole face. This is the Lexi 522 Tapered Highlight Brush, but I use it for powder, so. Um, this also gives a bit more color back into my skin. I am really tan right now. So that just kind of helps bring some color back in. Then I will grab the Marc Jacobs Tantric Bronzer here. And this is a Luxie 660, this is called their Precision Foundation Brush. And then I will grab some blush. This is just the Anastasia Blush Trio. I'm going to use Nectarine here. I kind of just grab whichever blush is closest to me that day, to be quite honest with you. And then I will just grab a little bit of the Estee Lauder Heat Wave. Do a bit of highlight. And then that side of my face is literally completely done. That is all I do. <laughs> okay, so now let's go back to this side. Let's dust off where we've been baking. And then this is just my powder brush. And then I will actually use the same powder on this side. Okay, so for bronzer on this side, I will take Dark Deepest Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC on that same brush. Okay, so as you can see, a lot more bronzer on this side, and then I'm actually going to use the same blush that I used, which is that Nectarine shade. There's two highlights. I use the shade Beaming Blush and Show Gold from MAC. This creates a really pretty, like, pink iridescent. Okay, and now for lips, I will take that Whirl Lip Pencil. And then on my everyday side, I will actually just take some lip conditioner. I rub it together with that lip pencil and it creates a little, a little bit of a lip stain. So that is what I will do on that side. And then on my glam side, I will do this is the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paint in Spicy Blush. So that guys concludes my everyday and my Instagram slash YouTube makeup. Um, so as you can see there are a lot of differences actually um, that go into the two different looks. This one obviously I'm ready to just walk out the door and go with. This one is obviously a bit extreme and also not for everybody. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys liked seeing the two completely different styles of makeup that you have to do. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. What does...